five. He's like, oh, if I lose to this guy, you know? Yeah. That's what light sounds like, I'm sure. Um, but now that, you know, if he does get a chance at the run back, he now is like, okay, no, it's very feasible that I can lose. So now, like, ironically enough, then the nerves might not be as bad. Oh, but we have a completely different set ahead of us. We have Miles and Ling Ling. It was a little bit hard. We Listen, Matt, we just saw a legendary set just happen. I happened. know. That, that was, we needed time to decompress from that. Yeah. But, yes, let's talk about this set in front of us, which is one that we've seen a lot at here at Encore lately. That being Ling Ling versus Miles. And I believe lately Miles has had a very consistent win record. I'm still decompressing a little bit, man. I'm still, <laughs> trying, to, I'm still trying to catch my breath. Don't I'm worry. Not. I, I've commentated enough, enough Yoshi in my life to, to, to handle this for a bit. So anyway, oh wow, that up smash. What a yeah. call out. Even though that was pretty safe from, uh, from Ling Ling, he tried to either float away or dash away, and he was vulnerable in that instant. So I think he back aired, and he just barely missed space for the back mm, air. It's possible he hit Miles' shield a little bit too early. This is a time to be able to go off stage and get that stock, but Miles was not in a position to be able to do so. Wow, yeah. he's going off. Miles oh, is just yeah. holding forward. <laughs> well, okay, Miles just saw Quid make that huge upset, and he's like, he wants his chance, you know? Like, lose, this loser semifinals. Winner of this gets to face off against Light. Oh, that was, that was an interesting interaction. Seeing up tilt, the back end of up tilt go into rebound with up smash. That, that was a little bit funky. Uh, not something that you see quite often. That's going to be a down air. You never really want to cross up Ling Ling Shield. Such a nasty place to put yourself in. But... Miles has that bread and butter all day. Forward air into up air. Uh, yeah, forward, sweet spot forward air into up air is just a very reliable oh, oh, oh. combo. 74% <laughs> with that. Da okay, dot eyes. It's like we talk about Stitch. I'm like, oh, Stitch. I think I've actually seen more percent off of dot eyes in my lifetime. Yeah, Ling Ling is just really good at being able to convert off of dot eyes, get recatches, and just continue putting on the damage. Stitches, he gets a couple of hits, and then he might kill you off of it. But other than that, just always 70%. That being said, Ling Ling tries to maybe catch your god jump in with up smash. I like the idea to use it as an anti air but not going to get it quite yet. <laughs> oh, I love that down B as a cheeky little way to grab ledge. And the stall on there was beautiful, yeah. but it's not enough. In the end, the ledge guard is seen to completion, and Miles, despite being up by so much earlier, Look at these setups for Miles as well. He's always throwing out Egg. He's always making Ling Ling worry about it. Because Egg into Florida is a very, very deadly confirm and something that he has to be constantly on the lookout for. Yeah, I, I will say it's worth noting that uh, Yoshi, is, his up smash can cover the entirety of the PS2 platform. Uh, so Miles has kind of been out <gasps> Are you kidding me? Not only does it cover the entirety of the Pokemon Stadium 2 platform, but he was halfway into the Pokeball onto Pokemon Stadium 2. Why was that button so big? Did, did uh, Peach stuck him out? No, no, he extended hitbox by throwing the uh, Yeah, the Peach, Peach stuck her arm out a little bit. You up smash big, but when Peach <laughs> throws out your arm, oh, oh, dude. <laughs> oh, wow, the Diddy Kong coming out. Now, this is actually a. Uh, who did we see? him play the Diddy Kong against earlier. Oh, I'm trying to remember. It was against Light. It was against Light. Yeah. Light was the one who knocked Ling Ling into losers. And the Diddy Kong was actually pretty solid. Uh, it was actually very unfortunate where his game one, he actually had the wrong controls in. Uh. So I was like, wow, the Diddy Kong sucks. <laughs> and then like game two was actually pretty close. <laughs> So I do like the choice to go for Diddy Kong King, but I just can't help but imagine that like Miles is not really going to be special by Banana too much usually. As Yoshi, you typically in the air, you typically have the ability just to be able to cash it in the air. So you're not playing grounded enough. So uh, kind of, but so I, I know why he switched off of Peach, which is that like in the Peach Yoshi matchup, Yoshi doesn't. Yoshi just does whatever he wants to, you know? Like, nothing that Peach does makes Yoshi second-guess the things that Yoshi wants to be doing. Diddy Kong, an entirely different story. You know, like, he might not be that grounded, but keep in mind, whenever, if he ever misspaces an aerial, or whenever, normally he loves to space aerial safely on shield, but, uh... Oh, look at those mix-ups. Ling Ling was just so scared, sitting in shield like that. But still, you know, at the end of the day, catches Miles being a little bit too vulnerable on the ground and finds that kill. I mean, I think that's... Like, Miles loves going for those grabs because so often he scares his opponents into shielding. And it becomes this sort of like, oh yeah, I'll get stage positioning. And also, you're not going to be in shielding as much anymore. Good Great job with the... Uh, with Miles. That was so good. Yeah, Because yeah. even if he uh, tried to roll away, dashing in like that with up smash would cover it. If it was a neutral get up, right, you push them into that up smash ultimately. Mm -hmm. So Miles so practiced in that. 
Yeah, good job. It covers two out of the four get-up options. Uh, that being said, if that does come up again, Ling Ling might be conditioned now to go for uh, to go for a um, like a get-up attack. And if yep. Miles is prepared for that, you run into a shield and it's then a you can go for it. It's a 50-50 it's a at the end of the day, and Miles just has the execution and the reaction to set that up on lock, which is exactly what you need. Ling Ling finding the falling neutral into the back here, and a great catch on the high recovery. So he actually armored through the first few hits of that up smash, and then I think he hit a button or the armor ran out, uh, and he got hit by the last parts of it. Oh my. No double jump for Diddy Kong, but Ling Ling's still going to be able to just get far enough. <laughs> the oh. slight charge on the up smash. Miles knew. But even then, it wasn't quite enough. He does have banana in hand, but being aerial, uh, Ling Ling didn't actually get the trip animation. And so Miles still kind of struggling to find a way to end the stop here. Ling Ling's he coverage done. on these high recoveries is so good. He pressed that first down tilt. IMO, that one should have kind of connected as well. Uh, but honestly, if you can punish Yoshi's high recoveries, you have a really good part of the matchup just on lock. Yoshi can avoid so many awful ledge situations just by using his early speed and, and just resetting the situation completely. Now, one thing that in this matchup that can sometimes work if you're Yoshi and Diddy Kong is holding in a banana is you can just double jump in his face. Because yep. if he throws out that banana, then you armor through it, and if you can react, you can actually punish him for doing that. He's just exchanging it left to right, just like that Ling Ling catching the cross up through Miles, and that's going to be the stock bringing the game count to 1-1. One, one. Yeah, yeah, kind of the writing was on the wall by the end of that game there. It felt like Ling Ling, you know, had the percent lead, and Diddy Kong with a percent lead when you're Yoshi is actually really rough yeah. to deal with. It means that you're forced to approach in ways that oftentimes you're left uncomfortable doing so. So, as we move into game three now, you know, Miles does have the, the sort of first game advantage of the fact that, you know, that he kind of bodied the peach. So he only needs to win two games here. But where is he actually going to be counterpicking to? He doesn't want to go to a stage like FD. I think Battlefield or oh, small Battlefield, I think, where he's picking. I, I actually think that Battlefield proper might be a little bit better, but I think he wants the smaller ceiling. I'm so that not is. taking Yoshi Battlefield. Oh, is Battlefield banned? Oh, yeah. Right. Durr. Yes. It's Yoshi. <laughs> Durr. I will never. Okay, to be I fair, am fighting there Yoshi. are a lot. My two instant bands Yoshi's and, and, and Battlefield. My oh. friend, I am not getting juggled. Okay, but also, there are other stages that should be banned against Yoshi. Just ban so half the stages. stages. Just ban yeah. all the stages. Yeah. Honestly, new stage list. Nothing that Yoshi is good on. <laughs> <laughs> How do we feel about that, Encore staff? Anyways, <laughs> game number three between these two. Uh, gonna be taking it a small battlefield. Ling Ling tries to catch that recovery inwards, but Miles just doing a good job of releasing that situation and putting it uh, in favor for himself. Okay, one thing that already we're seeing kind of different here. Uh, oh, no, not that. Um, but the platform pressure. That's something that Miles was kind of struggling to That's do in last game. That's three consecutive eggs. And, and, and catches Ling Ling getting back onto stage with a uh, monkey flip. Ooh, I love the fact that Miles, he's going for... We've seen him do it also in other sets tonight. These really late up airs. It's so, so safe on shield. And it can really bait the opponents into trying to punish when, oh no, they cannot punish that. That's that first up tilt put, gonna be setting up a tech chase onto the platform. Miles tries to go through the conversion there. Cat wants to maybe catch Ling Ling falling back down, is not gonna be able to do so quite yet. And it, these are one of these, like, it's a subtle thing, but the fact that he went for neutral air at the end of that combo means that he really wants to be pushing. He's prioritizing getting Waits out uh, that double jump. Ling Ling off stage as opposed to, oh, wow, just that barely out space that. But he, he thinks, yeah, it's on the ledge and off stage where his kills are coming. And, and just a really good conclusion there, but ceiling is going to be just high enough and Yoshi just heavy enough. Side B should not kill quite yet, but the next one definitely will. Miles trying to use Egg for a bit of coverage, but Ling Ling also took that as the opportunity to get Egg on deck. <laughs> well, banana on deck, excuse me. Oh, <gasps> That's it. That's game. That's all it takes. Yeah, so... Uh, when Diddy Kong gets hit by a very low knockback move, which, fun fact, a lot of spikes are actually very low base knockback because of the way that, you know, in, in general, in yep. the game, the way that it just works. The developers didn't want you to be having huge amounts of 
you know, downwards base knockback. I mean, just look I at what happens. Person. Like, we've seen what happens when they don't do that, and there are some absolute yeah. BS moves. But the point is, whenever Diddy Kong gets hit by a low base, uh, low knockback move at, at, like, lower percents, he won't get the barrels back, which is what happened. Yeah. So, that was an extremely roundabout way of me. As, as soon as you can force Diddy Kong to up B, you can maybe kill him. That's your opening. <laughs> Side B. Side B, you have to respect. More often than not, that move is fast. It covers a lot of space. It's it's a mix-up in of itself. Ooh. Oh my! <laughs> what? How did he steal that situation for himself? That was Ling Ling's edge guard. That was all his. Well, you have to respect. That's one of the things about Yoshi in this matchup that he does have an advantage with. His armor lasts to super late percents because there isn't a lot that Diddy Kong has that can actually break it. Especially because, like, for instance, like what down smash. He's not going to be down smashing at the ledge. That's not what Diddy Kongs like to be doing. They like to be covering options, but none of those cover a Yoshi that's armoring through it. Oh, Miles tries to go through a bit of a cheeky conversion there, but Aerial Banana not really going to do that much. Just kind of ends up resetting the situation. Basically, no uh, positivity on hit whatsoever. Oh, Ooh. doesn't snap on. Just ends up detonating. So Ling Ling kind of reel back in his seat, not happy about that sort of thing, especially because now he has to deal with Miles with the stock lead. But your Diddy Kong taking the stock from a Yoshi is actually sometimes How did he slip in between all of those hits? Miles, Miles' stock is just hanging by a thread right now. Once again, just trying to be so patient with the way that he's pressuring shield, being so creative, using Ling Ling's own projectile against him. Yeah, and it's, you know, it, he's hanging on by a thread, but he's playing. Okay, right there, he did. But uh, up until that point, he was playing around those kill options that Lingling was clearly so desperate for. And oh, no, no jump. Miles wants that too for him. Lingling Ling just needs to be able to find a way to escape the corner, rolls in maybe a little bit too aggressively. Miles is still ready to cover it every step of the way. Almost has it, but no punish on the air dodge either. Dropping shield at that dash attack is, might really cost Miles here. You know, he has the lead and he wants to be taking the stock. And <laughs> He forced that jump. He forced Ling Ling to go high and not immediately land as soon as he had that banana in hand. And, and he was able to get the punish as a result. So he didn't just use banana as a projectile. He just used it to force Ling Ling's movement. He forced his hand. Man, yeah, this banana is being passed around. <laughs> just a town bicycle. That was untackable. You just have to hold that at that point. Once again, as long as you force those low recoveries from Diddy Kong, a B is extremely exploitable. That was also really smart. He went for the grab monkey kips, monkey kick flip specifically because as a grab, it will beat out Yoshi just trying to double jump out of hit stun. That's that jab. Puts him into a bit of a tech chase. Still going to be able to find another one and doesn't want to commit oh, all the way off stage. Dead. That's so dead. That's that drag down because he went away. He didn't try to follow and track Ling Ling. He intentionally pushed himself yeah. off to the side to be able to find it. So there are two components to that. One is the drift away and the other one is the fast fall.